there are seven courses that I have seven high paying courses and in my opinion if you choose any master's course in these fields you will be off to the races you will secure your future and you will have a huge advantage in the job market moving abroad is a huge decision and you don't just want a degree you want a degree that will pay your bills land you a stable job and ideally give you options to grow in the next five to ten years and that's exactly why i am sharing the seven courses that i believe have massive potential in the coming years by the way if you are new here hi i'm tanmay a full-time data analyst and a part-time youtuber living in ireland since 2022 so let's get started first on the list is cyber security everything right now is digital payments banking social interactions literally anything and everything you could think of even grocery shopping is online so cyber attacks and the risk of data being leaked the personal information of the customer of us being leaked is on rise and hence companies are spending huge millions billions in securing everything because uh, they need to comply to gdpr and maintain the pii data so from this article itself 90 percent of organizations are facing cyber security team skills gap and the need isn't just bodies but they are looking for skilled individuals who can act on their own like experts who can solve the complex problems and understand the compliance and even you if you look at the average Average cost of a breach it's around 4.8 million dollars it's huge and hence companies want someone who can prevent this from happening and prevent companies to pay fines to EU like you might have heard that meta case around the personal information and everything so yeah companies are trying really hard to hire talent and only 14% of organizations according to this security census blog have enough skilled talent to handle their cyber security needs so companies are hiring aggressively and will be in the future roles to look at will be cyber security analyst soc analyst compliance analyst so any course which teaches you about gdpr and in the models it's mentioned that you learn all these things that would be a good course to choose next up is analyst roles data analysis now when i say data analyst i don't mean just normal plain data analyst you need to back it with domain expertise what i mean by that is so i am a data analyst myself my expertise lies in healthcare data because i have been managing healthcare like personal information and everything since like three years so whenever there is an opening for a data analyst role i can just say okay yeah i am a data analyst but i can also leverage the fact that i have worked with pii information i have seen millions of records and you know securely transfer them from point a to b like ingested them in the data engineering terms so that would add leverage to my skill set and you know in 2025 you need to build that you know paradox so let's say you are a data analyst but you need to have domain expertise in one thing could be healthcare could be finances even in finances you can niche down into forex markets or anything like security analyst or bank transaction analyst or treasury analyst anything so you need to be very niche specific because again as the saying goes riches are in the niches so that's really true and you need to follow that if you look at this linkedin post it says that us job market alone will hit 220000 positions by 2025 just for data analysts and it is growing and the growth rate is 36% it will be growing from 2023 to 2033 sectors like financial services retail e-commerce are driving up their business decisions based on the data tracking the rfid tags tracking pure system and you know analyzing what to stock up and to you know like for waste management store management back inventory management everything so so right now as you might know data is the new oil so you need to know how to handle it very well as i said think of building a paradox so for example i am a data analyst but i know bits and pieces of marketing because i have this youtube channel i have instagram handle and email marketing newsletters linkedin everything so if tomorrow i'm sitting in an interview i can leverage these skills like maybe if they ask like what makes you stand out from the applicants i'll be like i know how marketing works and i can help you you know gain distribution or help the company any, you know future proofs their marketing strategy or something like that i'll add more to the table than just a mere data analyst so you need to think in terms of paradoxes and niches third course is something related to cloud computing or infrastructure as i mentioned data is the new oil but okay you cannot process use data without having a data center and if you have the data center then you need to maintain that because companies are spending huge amount for storing that data processing that data integrating that data or you know like moving data data warehouse and everything with the increase in big data warehouses data analysis everything the need for storing data efficiently with you know cost effectively is huge so if you are someone who is you know skilled with cloud computing knowledge like how to use aws or azure or any cloud computing platform and 
find like the infrastructure knowledge admin roles uh, who will have access to what again this also comes back to cyber security having secure accesses having that domain knowledge will also play a huge crucial part in your job hiring process or you know interview process because then you'll be like yeah i have the infrastructure knowledge also i know what are the good cyber security practices so it will like again as i said paradox so courses like cloud data devops those roles will be marketed and courses which will be teaching you those would be the best to look for again go through the modules go through the university website and check which model suits you the best as i said like this infrastructure field will be there in future for good 10 to 20 years fourth is kind of like hard skills like electrical and electronics engineering because no prompt will work without electricity and no data center will work without you know cooling and everything like you need to know hardwares as well so often like everyone is looking at software development and tech jobs, data analysts, business analysts, ML engineer, everything, right? At the very fundamental level, the backend is actually hardware, cables, data cooling systems. You need knowledge. We need engineers who can handle that as well. And if you look at how the prices have shot up for an electrical engineer, it's insane. So if you are someone who is interested into more hardware stuff, I think you can leverage this point. The roles would be electrical engineer, chip designer, embedded systems designer, and even power our systems architect or you know engineer so these will be the roles to look for and any course which is offering knowledge about these things embedded systems and power grid designs and everything because companies are investing huge amounts into like sustainability how effectively can they cool down the data centers maybe having it near the water body but then having it near the water body is a risk because what if the water body gets flooded then what will happen so you know knowledge about this again creates a paradox it's just like in sense if you have those skills and this electrical hardware knowledge man you would be off to the races so choose courses who offer knowledge about all these things fifth is around healthcare or nursing global population is aging if you look at the data it's aging there is a huge strain on the healthcare systems like nhs in uk hsc in ireland or you know EU, even us agencies so there is a huge demand for nurses specialists healthcare managers and that is exploding if you look at this blog here nhs alone in uk faces a projected shortage of over 10000 nurses by late 2025 and with the vacancy rate staying stubbornly high the nhs will need to bring in 13100 new nurses every single year until 2036 or 37 just to keep up with the demand right now it's insane even like patient waiting lists have grown four times faster than nursing staff requirements since 2019 which is putting huge like serious stress on the healthcare and then international recruitment now makes sense because most of the staff like a large part of nhs nurses indicate strong demand for overseas candidates even nursing across europe by this blog here is even worse like over 500,000 projected jobs would be advertised by 2025. Sixth is biomedical and medicine. Now, this is not just biomedical and medicine. If you have some technical edge, you will be like, again, paradox. Because what I mean by that is right now there are ongoing researches about, let's take an example. If someone is diabetic, usually diabetes is hereditary. You know, at the initial stages when the child is like conceived, a medical advancement will help to replace the nucleus or replace the DNA or the chromosome of that particular DNA and, you know, change that entire diabetes thing to something else without, you know, like having any side effects. That is the ongoing research and you can read papers about it, but that will need data analysis, technical knowledge to maybe GPT things can be used here, regenerative AI and all that. Having medical knowledge, like how diabetes work, what is the cure available right now, and combining this technical knowledge about ML and everything like data analysis and all that, combined together will speed up the research process, will speed up the, you know, solution in future. So that will be something, you know, very interesting to look at. So you can go into my biomedical tech uh, medicine with some sort of tech so courses which offers maybe python or you know like ml with biomedical sciences that would be a good field to look at if you are personally interested or you come from medical background but you now want to go into tech that is how you can leverage both the domains. Seventh is my personal favorite. It's about sports science physiotherapy. Now, based on the data globally, consumption of alcohol has reduced down and consumption of non-alcoholic drinks has gone up, which just indicates like the population is now health conscious. And even if you see endurance sports is picking up high rocks, running and if you see the data by you know like how many running shoes were sold by nike adidas puma or all these companies 
you can see that the major chunk of their sales came through these sneakers running sneakers so like huge chunk of population i personally prefer running so huge chunk of this population is now moving towards you know endurance sports and during the activities you get injured you need recovery you need sports therapy hence i would say demand for physios good physios trainers personal trainers and health specialists will be growing since like in the next five to ten years because everyone is now looking towards longevity uh, you know like health endurance not just you know lifting weights but also endurance sports as i said like running or you know boxing anything like that so that is picking up hence you will need physios you need someone who has knowledge into injury or recovery experts and all that this will be a good field courses around like physiotherapy physiology will be a good fit now here's the thing choosing between these courses different universities is not as easy as like you know you went there and picked one same course can look different for different universities maybe one of the courses in one of the universities is more technical and the other course is more business focused even with the sop formats ielts preparation visa documents every university has a different approach and a different rule book and honestly this is where relying on experts makes more sense when i was applying i personally did a lot of research and it took a lot of mental pressure and time bandwidth and that's when i got connected with one of the consultants in new strides and they helped me over with entire you know documentation for my visa they have been around for over 20 plus years and they have helped thousands of students like you and me move abroad and fulfill their dream and they focusing specifically on uk and ireland and their consultants know the process inside out they can even connect you with the alumni so you can ask them real questions about job market modules how is the opportunities what is the growth in this particular domain for 5 years down the line 10 years down the line even for me they made sure that i have every single document in place because one missed document or one grammatical error on your sop can literally delay your entire plan so if you are planning to move abroad especially uk and ireland i would say it's worth taking some professional help and if you think the same then fill out the form in the description and someone from their team will reach out to you to conclude the entire video i know it was bit heavy so at the end see you don't need to hop on trains you need you don't just need to follow the hype or hop on trends like everyone is after ai then i should learn ai or machine learning you need to follow your own passion now sure passion is one thing you can have your passion but you also need some skills which will pay your bills as well i might have passion towards playing guitar but that won't pay my bills right so something that can like you need to find the balance and i hope this video has helped you find that these seven fields like tech infra health relationships Uh, you can also focus on like psychology as well because these days mental issues are rising so something around that will actually future proof yourself by you know getting you high paying job and putting you in global demand so if you are planning your masters in 2026 think strategically and your future self will thank you and if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment and i'll personally answer to them see you in the next one bye